Coach, how do you feel is uh, how do you feel the young guys are stepping up for this team? Guys like Jordan Villeman, guys that necessarily didn't have you know kind of buried in this yeah. depth chart at the start of this fall. And how do you feel they're growing? As I like players? them a lot. You know this this core of guys that are playing and they're all pretty young has a chance to be as good a core or the best that we've ever had. You know, talent wise, I'm talking about the group. You know that. You know it's. When we've had individuals like Brandon and Marcus and all that, now the Marcus Brandon duo was pretty good. But uh, you know this group, you know five six guys, is, it's pretty deep and pretty talented. So uh, I'm I'm encouraged about that and uh, looking forward to them growing Saturday. What specifically with Villeman, even maybe dating back to? The Utah game was kind of where he really broke out, but since then, where has he most progressed since kind of being tossed into the starting lineup? You know, Gina, it's really, for those guys, it's about the volume of, of uh, learning the, the offense. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, but for them, it's individual routes, and then and really, you see all different kinds of coverages, so you might have a simple out route, but then what, how are they covering you? You know, there's there's a there's probably five or six different kinds of defensive either coverages or techniques in coverage, and you have to be good at uh, beating all those techniques and being in good timing with the quarterback still. So, you know, it's a it's frankly a never-ending process of playing fast and being correct and having good timing. It's kind of fun. You know, when you get good at it, so you, you basically get the idea, okay, no matter what that guy does, this is how I'm going to adjust, and it's going to be good. So teaching guys to do that is uh, it, it's fun to do. Can you see that coming along oh, for with sure. him? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, you, know, it, uh, you know, when you have young guys, then your volume has to go down a little bit so that you don't overload them. And, uh, you know, so, you know, th that's a little bit of... You know, coaches want a lot of volume, but you only can do what your players know and can do well, you know, in the games. You mentioned yesterday that Washington State has a very salty, as you said, yeah. defensive front. Can you talk about that a little bit more? Yeah, you know, they are, they're good. Uh, very stout, and uh, I think they're quick, quick inside. They do some really uh, good things defensively that I think that they're, you know, we're going to have to do a good job of blocking. And, and, uh, and then, uh, you know, just in general, their defense, even, like I said yesterday, even with the record that they have, their defense is ranked pretty high in a lot of stats. So I'm anticipating a tough chore offensively up front. And then also, can you talk a little bit about Washington State's new quarterback, uh, Luke Falk, a little bit? Pretty impressive uh, how he went in and just operated their offense. Like, you know, he's been doing it his whole life, which is interesting. Uh, you know, I can imagine they're, uh, they've given him, looks like they've given him a lot of repetitions in practice because it, it, it appears his timing and his knowledge of where to go with the ball is, is at a very high level for a guy that, you know, has watched Connor Halliday break all the records, <laughs> go crazy. So it's a, you know, I think he's talented. We knew of him for sure uh, when he was coming out. He was a good player in Utah. Uh, Anyway. In terms of Luke Falk, do you feel like you have to game plan any differently? Or are they similar to the way they just kind of throw the ball heavy? And might They've got a system. Else? They've got a system. And it, it, like I said, it appears that he's had a lot of good training in it because he looked very comfortable when winning. When you say the, the young core of guys is the potential being one of the best ever, do you mean in your tenure or explain what you meant by that? Well, I think probably Oregon State. Yeah, you know, you're talking about uh, – you know, uh, I'm talking about a five or six guy total. You know, there's been some duos like uh, I just mentioned with Marcus and Brandon, <laughs> you know. Uh, and then uh, and then you go back with, you know, Chad Johnson and TJ. You know, that's a pretty good duo too. And they had an, another good guy at that time, Prescott, that was a good player. But, you know, and, and you know, I'm thinking – you can't, I can't ever qualify that, nor can anybody really, but I just think this has a good potential to be an exciting group. Their size, 
Uh, there's real good athleticism. Uh, you know, when you're talking about Hunter Jarman, he's a really good athlete. And then you've got the speed with Victor and uh, uh, Ramel Dockery, and then Xavier Hawkins. Uh, and then you've got, you know, another big guy in Malik Gilmore. And then we'll have Richard back next year. So it'll be, we'll be way ahead when we get going again at that time. But I want these guys to get have to do well right now and, and win this game on Saturday. You, you've talked a lot, or a little bit, you've alluded to the, the Washington game last year and how you guys rebounded as kind of a reason to say, hey, we could still turn things around this year. Have yeah. there been other times in your career that have, have reminded you of this and, and where you can kind of draw on and say, okay, how did we pull ourselves out of this or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, you, you coach 40 years. Sure, <laughs> I figured I there got, would be other times. I, it might be 50-50, <laughs> as a matter of fact. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, you know, and it is... Uh, there's just always tough times. The longer you coach, the more the more you're in it, and the more you know. I, I've always believed that the players want to be coached, and the only way to really help them is not a speech necessarily. You know, we talk a lot about attitude and what that means, and passion for what you do, and all that. But I think the real thing is football. I think they have to be given some stuff that will help them, and they are motivated by that. And if you practice it, and build up confidence, then you got a chance the next week. Uh, you know, I've I've gone from a Grey Cup to almost getting fired the next year to a Grey Cup, you know, and uh, so just in a three-year period, it was the epitome of up and down and up, and <laughs> so and it's kind of life in sports. The more you're in it, it just it, there's there's times like that. We want to make this more and more consistent, but obviously, we're going to have to really fight and play well to make this one of those years uh, that is more of an up year than not. And uh, and, I, and I like this team, you know, it's not like the world has ended. We played a Cal team that lost to UCLA 36 to 34 into Arizona on a Hail Mary play. So whoever assumed they weren't a good team was wrong. Uh, and and then we lost when we were to a Utah team in double overtime, both teams we had fourth quarter leads. That's what we have to learn to do is finish, play our best football when it counts down the stretch. We're six and two and everybody's thinking pretty good things, but that's not the way it is. We didn't make those plays, so we gotta teach these guys to get better and better. Um, in your tenure, you've always kind of had a way to being able to finish season strong, kind of go back a few years ago, you are able to win like, like five out of your last six mm -hmm. or whatever. Is there a key that like, just you keep have teaching. to just, have your players get better? No, just keep teaching, there's no magic to it. Uh, and uh, don't let coaches lose sight of what we're trying to do. Don't let go crazy here. You know, just do your job, coach, teach, bring the kids. It's just all those things I've been talking about. There's no magic to it. I don't. I don't think. I, I think that uh, they need level heads. They need somebody with a good plan, and they they need to be taught. And uh, they're hungry for that. So that's that's what we continue to try to do. Frankly, you do that when you're winning too. Uh, but the. the it does take a little bit more work, uh, you know, as when it gets tough out. 